Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is pure connection next week. The scripture comes from Syra. Twenty-eight and eighteen. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, yet not so many as those who have fallen because of the tongue. Mm. So here's the message. For whoever this is for, this message goes to waste. Okay, the first way it go is you be careful what you say. You be careful who you say it to and you be careful how you say it. The other way it goes, somebody, there's someone that has done certain things. They have um, treated you a certain way. Um, whatever it is, this person, I feel like this is somebody that may have a nasty attitude. They may have had a very nasty attitude with you, toward you. And God say this person is going to meet their match next week. But you know what I'm saying? Watch what you say next week. Watch what you do next week. And it could be a situation where, you know, someone may like this. This could be somebody that they going to say something to you. They going to talk to you in such a way and it don't even have to be in person, even though I'm feeling for some of y'all it's going to be in person. For some of y'all, it's not going to be in person. It could be over the phone or it could be a situation where it's over social media. Somebody is going to say something. They going to say something. They going to say something. They going to say something smart. They going to test you. They going to push your limits. But don't say nothing. God said, don't say nothing. Somebody else is going to defend you. And they're going to tell them to cut it out. And you know what I'm saying? It may surprise you who is going to defend you. But I just feel like for whoever this is for, it is going to be a situation where you, um, you have to watch it. Because if you say something back, like this is, um, if you say something back, it could be a situation where you are then the bad guy. But if, you know, like it's a difference between somebody attacking you and then you like, I got to get the upper hand and you talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Are you, I got to get the upper hand and you going across their head. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you throwing balls with them and you didn't beat them up. And now whatever words y'all had is not, you know what I'm saying? And that's just like, you know, uh, as far as the law states, as far as from my understanding, somebody verbally insulting you, that's one thing. You physically touching somebody is a whole different thing. So it's kind of like you would take it up a notch. And I feel like God is saying, let them have it. Somebody else is going to defend you. And that's the message for somebody. God said, somebody going to try you. Let them have it. Somebody else is going to defend you. Let them have it. Somebody else is going to defend you. Let them have it. Somebody else is going to defend you. And when that person defends you, they going to meet their match. They going to get their just do. Baby, they going to have their tail handed to them. I know, I know, I know. Some of y'all going to be like, so what, I, baby? They, they going to meet their match. They going to receive they just do. They going to have some knots on their head when this person get done with them. God said, whoever uh this is for, hold your tongue. Now, I know it's hard. I know it's hard because me, baby, when somebody try to read me, I could really go in. But you know what I'm saying? I be trying to be nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just sip on my little drink and laugh to myself and carry on by my bed. He's gonna, gonna sit by myself, gonna be by myself. Like, mm, mm, mm. this is why I'll be, you know what I'm saying? This is why I like to be by myself because I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Because what I have learned oh, over the years, every time, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's all fun and games when people make it fun of me. But then when I start getting on them, now they want to fight. They upset and they throwing tables and they knocking chairs over. And it's like, well, what's good? You know? Nah, nah, nah. It's like you going to take it up a few notches. <laughs> and if you read like I read, baby, it's best not to say nothing at all. <laughs> Baby, 
Baby, because I just seen it time and time again. I they got all the jokes. All the jokes for me. 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 But when I really start going in, they bad. They want to cry. They want to fight. They want to do this, that, and the third. Well, you should have let me alone there. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have had to go there. You know what I'm saying? Just being real. If you would have said, if you would have left me alone, you wouldn't even have to deal with me, you know, doing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a very observant person. And people don't even realize that about me because it's not... It's not a situation where I'm just going to be sitting around staring at nobody, but I'm very observant. I observe my surroundings. I make sure I see everybody that's coming in the door when they leaving out the door, what they doing, all that. Because I ain't nobody finna pop up and I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like I done been through too much. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like nobody sneaking up on me. You sneak up on me, you gonna mess around and catch a little, a little one two real quick. <laughs> and it has, it's happened before. Somebody tried to sneak up on me, and I bow. He's like, "What? Why are you in me? <laughs> sneak up on me like that? I don't like it." But I don't know who this for. Baby, go ahead and say it. It's, 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 it's going to be something interesting. It's going to be so interesting. But, you know, this is this is one of them people where you can tell they never experienced somebody uh, having to deal with their consequences of their actions and of what they say. And God say it's time. They're going to have to deal with the consequences of their actions and of what comes out of their mouth. They're going to have to go ahead and 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 they gonna have to deal with the consequences of their actions, baby. It's not a situation where you should celebrate because sometimes when God give me prophecies like this here and it happens, it is shock it's shocking. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like for whoever this is for. You never even know who it is, you know? For some of you, it could be a situation where this person been trying to say little slick stuff to you and it been going over your head. You're not even paying them no attention. Or it could be a situation where it's not hitting because it's not true. Regardless of whatever it is, baby, God said this person is going to say the wrong thing to the wrong person or around the wrong person and that person is going to go upside their head. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, yet so many of those who have fallen because of the tongue. It's going to be because of their tongue. Because they think they can talk to whoever they want to, however they want to. And God says it's going to be somebody. They're going to say the wrong thing to the wrong person. Or they're going to say the wrong thing in the wrong way. And like, this is going to be a situation where somebody is going to be doing business as usual. And somebody else is going to be like, they, they could simply be them doing business as usual. But they're going upside. Somebody is about to get the business. Somebody about to get the business. Somebody about to get the business. The, the bigger they come, the harder they fall, baby. Somebody about to get the business. This somebody about to get the business. Go ahead and say, lights out. They about to get the business. They about to get some hands. And because they going to be saying something slick, and they going to be saying something slick to somebody they shouldn't have said something slick to. And go ahead and say, they about to get that. Mm. Baby, when I tell you the last time I got a message like this here. <laughs> and I'm just saying, I don't know who this for. You know what I'm saying? Pray for you. This is why God say we should pray for our enemies because the, the judgment of the Lord, sometimes the judgment of the Lord is not what you expect it to be. But um, for whoever this for, God say this person right here, like in, in reality, this is somebody they may have wanted to do you that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there are people that will mess with you in an attempt to get you to attack them. And once you attack them, they going to try to do you something. You know what I'm saying? They try to take you up out of here or set you up or whatever. They use that as reason. They use that as their fuel to do something to you. Or they'll go and they'll talk about you. 
talk about you and then the word come back to you and you start talking about them and now you didn't talk about them and they using that as they fuel to come and put their hands on you or to cause you some kind of harm or they want to jump you they want to call this person they want to call that person god said mm -mm, let them carry on they are about to receive they just do they about to receive their judgment and ask somebody that has seen it done but my own eyes god said he about to he about to, this person about to run into somebody that's bigger than them. They about to run into somebody that's stronger than them. They about to run into somebody that punches hit harder than theirs. They about to get the business. They about to get the business. Don't, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't argue with them. Don't go back and forth with them. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Pray to God for strength and peace. Pray to God for perseverance perseverance pray to god to keep you and you know what i'm saying if you just got to be by yourself ain't nothing wrong with that and like i said it may be a situation where it's face to face it may be a situation where this person said something about you in the past and it may be a situation where it's gonna be social media but god said this person gonna put their mouth on you for the last time and somebody gonna go upside their head that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe deuces